Hey guys, it's Joe from American Trucks, and today we're gonna be taking a closer look at the barricade skid plate for the HD off-road front bumper, fitting all 16 to 18 Silverado 1500s. Now, this is gonna be a great option for you if you do own that HD off-road front bumper and you're looking to add a little bit of protection to the underside of your truck for a budget-friendly price. So, first of all, what is this guy made out of? Well, this is a heavy-duty stainless steel. It's finished in that awesome, durable, textured black powder coating, which is a perfect match for the HD off-road front bumper, but it's also going to provide a second layer of protection against the elements on top of that stainless steel. Now, what this is gonna do for you, let's say you're doing some off-roading, you're taking advantage of that HD off-road front bumper, you hit an obstacle, it's going to transfer from the front bumper onto the skid plate, and that's going to encourage it to go underneath of the truck rather than, let's say, into your cross-member suspension, any hoses that are up here behind the skid plate, all that is gonna be safe. And, you know, who knows what an obstacle like that can cause in terms of damage for your Silverado. This is at least gonna help avoid some of that. And on top of that, it's gonna do it better than that factory skid plate or it really is just a splash guard as it's just a piece of plastic covering up these components on the front of the Silverado. Now, again, if you do have this bumper, you're looking to take it a step further. Not only is this skid plate a good buy, but Barricade also offers an overrider hoop for the top side to add some protection up there as well. I do just want to state one thing and I want to make this abundantly clear. If I haven't done so already, this skid plate is specific for this front bumper. So in order to get these holes right here to line up, you do need the HD off-road front bumper from Barricade. Now, with that said, this skid plate is gonna be a pretty budget-friendly price for what you're getting here. Stainless steel, textured black powder coating finish to perfectly match that front bumper, and it all comes in at around 100 bucks. That is a good return on investment, and it's a little bit of peace of mind in terms of protection for the front end of your truck. Now we move on to our install, and I have another thing to state right up top here. And that is gonna be that this truck is really, really lifted pretty high, about six, seven inches in terms of lift. Now, because of that, you might notice some suspension components on here that aren't gonna be on a factory Silverado. And that's gonna be mainly this big guy right here, this drop cross member with the Fabtech logo right in the middle. That's not gonna be there on your factory Silverado. Now, you'll have no problem in the driveway if you are factory, but in our case, it's gonna block a little bit of access to the hardware on the back of the skid plate because we don't have access to the bottom side of the factory cross member here. Now, we're gonna do our best to show you how this installs. It's a pretty simple process. If you do have a drop cross member like this one, it might be a little bit of a different design. Eye it up in the driveway, make sure you have access to the factory cross member. You need access to the bottom side to get that hardware installed and this isn't going to apply to any of you guys out there with stock ride height or a spacer lift kit. You just won't have this all together and you'll have no problem. Now with all that said, this is gonna be an easy one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. It's only a couple bolts. We're gonna be reusing some bolts from the factory splash guard as well. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools required for this install are gonna be a ratchet, 16 and 15 millimeter sockets, as well as a five millimeter Allen key. I put mine on a socket just to speed things up a little bit. So underneath of our Silverado, you could definitely better see our issue. Simply put again, this thing has a six inch lift on it. In order to accomplish that, you need a drop cross member like this guy, but that gets in the way of the factory cross member, which you're gonna need access to to install this skid plate. So what we're gonna do here is do our best job to show you what this might look like if you didn't have one of these in the way, you're gonna have no problem with this install at all. It's really simple. But first things first, you wanna take the factory skid plate off. Now, again, our truck is lifted, that has been removed. That is really simple to get out of the way. Basically, two 15 millimeter bolts at the leading edge, two 15 millimeter bolts at the trailing edge back here on the cross member. Remove all of those, you can take that skid plate right out. Now we can get started with our install, and first things first, you wanna grab this little bolt plate right here. This comes in the kit with the skid plate. You're going to take that and feed it up into this leftmost hole in the cross member, just like so, and that is gonna line up right about there. 
So now we can put up our skid plate. A couple of things to note here. This leading edge is going to sit inside of the front bumper. You wanna make sure that that is not on the outside of the front bumper as the threads are actually on the skid plate itself. Uh, another thing to note is these holes at the back here, that bottom most one you see right now, once this is in place, that's gonna be toward the left. You want that one to line up with that bolt plate. So at the front, you can really clearly see this. Um, basically what we're gonna do is make sure these four holes line up. And then we're gonna take the button head bolts included in with the skid plate. And we're gonna get those started finger tight and then tighten down with a five millimeter Allen key. Now just to speed things up a little bit, I have my Allen key on a ratchet, but same idea. So now we're gonna take care of the rear of our skid plate. Now you wanna picture this bolt plate is already in place in the cross member and it would be a little bit over toward this direction, but just for clarity's sake, we're gonna put that over here on the side. Again, you wanna make sure that this guy lines up with the hole in the back of the skid plate. Then once you have the two through each other, you can secure it using flat washer, lock washer, and then lastly, we're gonna come in here with the 16 millimeter nut. And then you can tighten that down like so with a 15 millimeter socket. Now that will get this hole in place. However, there's another hole over here. And for that, you're gonna use the factory 15 millimeter skid plate for Now guys, that is pretty much gonna do it for this one. Like I said earlier, pretty simple install. Again, I apologize that we weren't able to show you everything that goes into this, but I hope we were able to at least give you a good idea exactly how this would mount up if you didn't have that aftermarket cross member in place. But that's gonna do it for me. It's also gonna do it for the barricade skid plate for the HD off-road front bumper, fitting all 16, 17, and 18 Silverado 1500s. Thank you guys for watching. If this helped you out at all, leave us a comment down below. Subscribe for more videos like this one. I'm Joe, keep it right here in American Trucks for all things Chevy.